may have heard of Power Pole Mickey. Well, that is Solar Panner Panel Mickey. I can't speak. It is located just on the outskirts of the entrance to Epcot Center. If you look at it from a satellite view, from a bird's eye perspective, you would see a hidden Mickey made of solar panels. Pass that every time I'm heading into Epcot. Do a little park hopping. Gonna go over to Studios a little later. This episode is gonna be focused mainly on the Skyliner. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today's adventure will not take place on another one of my favorite transportation devices, the monorail. You can see the beam is empty because the Epcot loop is not happening yet. And the Skyliner, which I believe is the most efficient and quickest form of transportation around the parks, quicker than the buses, faster than the friendship boats, and the most beautiful monorail. Gets you from point A to point B very, very quickly. Had a little incident about a week ago. It was down for a short time. This will be my first time on the Skyliner. Since that happened, the second time since the opening of the Skyliner that there was a, a little bit of a fender bender, if you will. And just see if everything is back to its usual operating procedures. Go from Epcot to Studios, do some things at both, back and forth, and see what's happening. I'm inviting you to join me and the sun will be going down and eventually we'll get some daytime angles and nighttime as well. Shall you? Now I do still acknowledge the monorail being my favorite of all of them as far as the aesthetic goes. The sleek design as it goes around. It's either Spaceship Earth or in front of the train station at Magic Kingdom. I just love it so much. I'm just talking about efficiency wise. Efficiency. And I met up with a friend who happens to be wearing an appropriate IP shirt. We own everything. Is that the term? IP? IP. Intellectual, intellectual property. Yes, sir. Intellectual property. Yes, sir. Marvel. Another, I think there's, I think, don't, isn't it something with on, depending on what side of the Mississippi River, if Disney owns Marvel or not? I believe in the theme parks, yes. Yes. I'm breaking the rules right now by wearing it in this park. That's okay, though. Would you like to go on the Skyliner with me over to Studios? This is just a random interaction. I didn't know you were going to be here as far as everyone knows. This was not planned. This is impulsive. It's really not. Just going, we're going with the bit. Yeah. We're going with the bit. Would yeah. you like to go on the Skyliner with me? I would love to. Would you like to do a little... Joining you, shall we? Exploring? Oh, that too. On the Skyliner? Yes. Oh, we can go up in the DVC lounge too. Let's well, do both because I, I, you know, what the whistle. All right, let's do it. This would be my usual spot to get that monorail going around test track off in the distance, getting that long angle as it goes around. Has not returned yet, as I've stated, but just to pinpoint and show exactly where that lounge is. It's right up here as I kind of get in the shade. There you go. Ooh, we get a little, little sunburst there just for a little bit of effect. Yeah, nice. Up in the top of that pyramid up there, I'm gonna get myself a, a beverage. They have the, the soda machine. I'm drawing a blank on what they're called, but you can get a mixture of different sodas. What's that called? The soda machine with Coke ones that have all the different Coca-Cola. It's called something. It is. It's called, it's a name. Freestyle. Freestyle. All right, let's get up there. I'm, I'm thirsty. All right, time to time to wet the whistle. Cheers. Oh, you already took a sip? Uh, sort of. Have a little, what would you end up getting? I've got a vanilla Coke Zero. Vanilla Coke Zero. Happy. And I went with a Mr. Well, it's not called Mr. Pib anymore. It's called Pib Extra. Don't mind if I do. Just going to get this and then make our way over to World Showcase and get on the Skyliner. Really good view of Spaceship Earth there. Going to go into the elevator. I always walk up the stairs and then I take the elevator down. So you hit that, but I really like the, the retro-ness there. Is this, Spaceship Earth right here? this is not, I think that's supposed to be like Spaceship Earth design, as best I can tell. Yeah, that's Spaceship Earth right there. But this, I love the, I always point this out, but I love the, the ceiling here. Now looking at the operating hours, they are as, oh, you're displaying it there? They are as follows. We got Disney Hollywood Studios will be running until 10 here at International Gateway, 11. So if we go to studios, they close at eight. We should have no problem getting back here in plenty of time. All right, let's go over. Get on the Skyliner, we'll take that. We should get a good view of Ratatouille as well, which is opening October 1st, the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World, which is just below the gondolas, right over there. In fact, you can see the, the Eiffel Tower, which is where the Ratatouille attraction is gonna be or is. I love the fact that they have ceiling fans in here. Well, that one in the middle there is not yeah, the one in the middle is not working, but the one on either end are. And you can see how the Skyliner just kind of cruises through the air there. All right, 
right, we're going into 161. There will be a connecting, a connecting flight as well. 161, the Skyliner. When's the last time you were on the Skyliner? Oh, uh, two months ago, I want to say. Two months. Not two months. It's a little colder, a little wetter. But this is two months. Two months. You have it down. You marked it on your calendar to the day. To the day. Two this months. is quality entertainment right here, folks. And I like the fact that every single area when you depart and land is themed around said park. Like this, that kind of like that little grassy area there is themed around World Showcase at Epcot in their own way. There's a friendship boat there, and Ratatouille is right over here. Off to the no, side, you might even be able to see. You might even be. Oh, yeah, you can even see the neon sign, which is not on. When we come back, it should be dark. We'll be able to see the neon sign there, and that's kind of like looking down into Ratatouille. You'll be able to see a different angle of this under the shroud of nightfall. A little bit later, you getting a good photo. You getting a good one? I'm getting a TikTok. Don't say that word. Now you have switched sides. You were over on that bench. Was. Now you're over here on this side. I think it disperses the weight any differently to have you know both uh, both of us two grown men on one side like that well some, some of us are more grown than we could be but that's what i'm trying to say i am on that level as well so would it be better to disperse it possibly but you were filming that direction so i was being uh, uh kind enough to come over to the seat yes very very nice yes. and i wasn't sure if this was going to be running today in fact because of what happened four or five you know less than a week ago days a week ago. I didn't know if they were going to have this back going again, but happy to say everything is fluid and going right along right along the track here, along the, the steel rope. Coming in hot! I'm practicing. Just practicing. Oh, I see it's a little bumpy. Now from what I've seen, anytime that there's any sort of, you know, anything kind of goes awry, it's usually at one of these stations when you're pulling in. It's never when you're on the, the, the ascension or the descension. It's right here at the, where the, it turns or where you're exiting off. So when it's up there, you know, there's never any never any issues, except for maybe, you know, if something happens and you get stuck up there for a few moments. Well, one time I got stuck up top, way over past the Riviera, and I could look into Epcot back when they were still having the fireworks going, and I got a good fireworks show for like 10 minutes while being kind of stuck up here. So I wasn't complaining at all. It actually worked out really well. Granted, there are no fireworks now, so if that happened now, it wouldn't be quite as entertaining. This is true. Well, there's Spaceship Earth over there and part of World Showcase. Approaching the Riviera Resort, which just so happens to be my home, what they refer to as the home DVC spot. Even though I haven't stayed there yet, I've stayed at a couple, but I, I have not stayed there yet. One of these days, and we're going to go down, not exit off of this gondola, stay on the same gondola, but go down and then go back up and then head that direction over to yet another station that will go to studios. It's very complex. Another thing I will say about this, you start to get kind of a feel for the terrain and the, the entire property and all the resorts that are out here that you don't usually see from the ground level. It appears as if we've slowed down a little bit. We haven't stopped, but slowed down just a little bit following Mr. Smee here, the Pirates. I should mention on both occasions when there was a little fender bender when they bumped into each other, there were no injuries. Pretty good, pretty good when you think about the amount, thousands upon thousands of flights. The odds are definitely, definitely good as my reflection. Where are going? It's almost like, it's almost like a, a pepper ghost effect. Oh, and speaking of, there's the hitchhiking ghosts over there. Oh, I can see your reflection, Ryan. You should give a wave. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Just a little. Sporin. Sporin. Now, this little area is not as themed as much as the other one. Just This looks more like hub grass through here as you're leaving the Riviera section. Oh, I should get a little view there of the Riviera through this great. And don't quote me on this. This might be one of the most expansive resorts the Skyliner goes over. Disney's Caribbean, you pronounce it Caribbean or Caribbean Beach? Okay, Caribbean. Caribbean. That didn't answer my question. I'm sorry. Did you, we Caribbean or Caribbean? Oh, well, that would be uh, Caribbean. 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 Pirates of the Caribbean. 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 Caribb
you can see the Hollywood Tower and Swan and Dolphin. Coming in hot! Oh my gosh! I was focusing on my... You startled me. I was focusing on my shadow. And you, 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 you caught me with that one. If I did, Smee would have. Oh, that was Smee saying that. That was Smee. Yeah, look at that. You can still see me there. Hello. Give it a little wave, Brian. And going off of the sign, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Straight ahead. Just got to get on one of these gondolas and head over. The last one we went on didn't have a wrap on it, so we were able to see out the window a little more. But if you had one with a wrap, like Dopey here, you can't really see through Dopey's noggin. Well, you kind of can. But over here, all oh, this Madame Leota on that, so that'd be a good one to have as well. And we got the Beauty and the Beast one here as well. And we are on the Madame Leota, the Haunted Mansion Gondola. Sometimes they pronounce them Chondola. Sometimes it's spelled Chondola, but I believe this is a gondola. Please stand clear of the doors in cabin 209. Waterfall, waterfall. If I can say, oh, uh, it was worth this. That's pretty good. I thought that was that was really the narrator, not you. It was. I'm the narrator. We're we're stopped. We're stuck here now. But then how are we I think that? I think that that was that was due to your narration. We're not moving. We are now. Oh, so they got the wheel up here spinning around. Look at that. Now this is what I think. Should I leave all this in or edit it out? Should I just leave this in and have I some organic should, sounds? I think you should leave it all. Okay, let's get organic sounds are starting now. Shh, quiet. That was not an organic sound, Ryan. That was a that was a gargle. <laughs> yeah. Organic sounds starting now. I'm organic. Shh. Don't wave your hand. They can see the reflection. Would you say the monorail is more efficient than this, or is this more efficient? You know, I think the monorail should be more efficient, but nowadays I'm going to go with yeah, this. Right. Exactly, my point. I love the look of the monorail, but when it comes to the efficiency of getting guests from point A to point B, I think this takes precedence. Here at Walt Disney World Resort. I'm going if monorail lucky, in practice, I'm going Skyliner. See, I'm saying on paper I'm going Skyliner, but visually I'm going monorail. Because it's more appealing to the eyes. It is, it is. Plus it's got that uh, novel, novelty, nostalgia piece that I, I want it to win. I'm in this corner. I'm in the corner, Sam, over here in the corner. You're in the corner. I'm in the corner. Yeah. What's that clanking? That would be my hand slapping the, uh, the yeah. That's your rig. It's organic noise. Organic. And judging by the parking lot, still staying at the 35% capacity. Wow. No res there were no reservations at all. So you have to park on. If you get, if you're lucky enough to get a reservation anywhere, you park hop. That's kind of the way it's done now, being an annual pass holder. After two, you can park hop. You scan into your original park that you have the reservation for. This is very long-winded. I've stated a lot of this before, but I'm stating it again in case you didn't realize. Made it to the destination, Hollywood Studios. Straight ahead. Gonna go in a little, go in a little studios action. And yes, we came in hot. Come in in hot. I was kind of wondering if Launch Bay was still going to be open, and at 6.45, an hour and 15 minutes before close, it is, according to this washboard sign. Now, upon walking in, we're talking to a cast member laying out front, and he mentioned how this is a screen, this was screen used. I never realized the speeder bike was screen used, but it was in Return of the Jedi, which honestly is probably one of my favorite Star Wars films. I mean, it's, it's, it's a toss-up between Empire and Return. I wonder if this is the one Leia was on or the one Luke was on, or maybe just some of the speeder bike troopers. Scout troopers, they call them, right? Scout troopers? Scout troopers. Scout troopers. I always love that out those outfits. Now the reason Ryan and I walked over here is we have we have a spot that both of us both of us are very fond of. Look at it. We refer to this as the splotch. The splotch. The splotch. And we wonder why not only why is it here, but why is there they're beckoning you to stand here next to the splotch and the splotch is right across from the milk bar here as well now can i point something out real quick yeah the splotch the yeah. standing here we were early on the splotch by the way i just like to point out we knew the splotch was was special years years ago it's been uh, probably three two or three or four years since we have been in the same room as the splotch the splotch is a thing it's a it's a thing 
And we're now we're making it more of a thing because now we're documenting it and putting it into the universe. Folks, hashtag is that watch. Is that canon? It is now. You ready to get a shot? Come on over. Oh, get a picture? Yep, we got, a, we got an Instagram to splotch. I'm drinking a lemonade here at the milk bar. Now, sometimes when this is usually launched by the, the Star Wars characters around, you'll see Jawas. So I've seen Jawas in here before. That's just a problem. You really getting into the blue milk? I, I've got nowhere to go with this. That's going to be a good one. Got the splotch. The splotch is back. I've heard of the squatch. Like big the foot is a sasquatch. The squatch, yes. This is a this is a splotch. Stand here to enjoy the splotch. As long as it's not a squatch splotch. I kind of feel like this is sort of like a Blair Witch thing too. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Yeah. Maybe that explains. I don't splotch. remember that in the film. No. It wasn't that memorable. It wasn't? I remember it pretty well. The mystery continues. That is... What the heck is this? A splotch. I should also point out over here, there's another little nice little Easter egg too. There is Lando's... When he was in Jabba's palace, there's mm -hmm. his headpiece. His teeth thing. I always refer to Lando as the Judas Iscariot of the, of the, yes, you the Star Wars trilogy. Yes, you do. Over across from Mickey and Minnie Chinese Theater, here at this stand where they not only have hot, fresh popcorn, they also have Mickey pretzels, you can see there, with cheese. We're going to get ourselves a couple pretzels and dip it in the cheese and consume. Going in on the cheers. Oh, you got a lot of mustard on yours. Doing the Mickey exactly. cheers on the ear. You went mustard. I'm going full cheese. You're opting out of the cheese. And now the sun is starting to set. Perfect timing to take the Skyliner off of Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard and past the crossroads of the world stand and head back over to Epcot. Under the, we might get a little view of sunset and nightfall. Probably going to be a pretty lengthy line as ever gets the park is closed, studios is closed. Should be able to see what the length of the line is like over here. Go on the Skyliner. Yeah, it is definitely stretched way back over here near the soda machines and the bus station. Didn't take too long though. Moved really quickly. The line moved pretty fast. Pretty nice sunset over there. A nice little haze of glaze across the horizon, if you will. Very, very beautiful. Leading studios. Very peaceful on this. Oh, you can hear some either frogs or alligators down there. Hear them croaking? Or directly above water at the moment. Can they stop croaking? It stopped. <laughs> and over there is the entrance into the parking area of studios. It's getting a little bumpy through here. You can see the little station there. Someone's pulling in around, around the cones. Back over in the corner again. Oh, there's a little bit of illumination on here. Some lights up top here, but not too much. Let's see, some lights over there, all along the floorboards. Now about to exit out of cabin 200. Once again, you gotta follow these guidelines here. No rock in the gondola. Watch your step exiting, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. We're gonna connect here to head over to Epcot. Doesn't look like too many people are in line to head over to Epcot Center. Should be smooth sailing. Boy, and those ceiling fans are working, working overtime up there. Those things are spinning around. Very, very rapidly. Oh, there's a good one right there. Skyliner, discover the world, Epcot. I think I will. Number 47. Number 47. The Skyliner. At any moment, the door will close. There it is. All on its own. We're about to... We're clear for watch. For takeoff. Seems to be slowing down though. I may have spoke too soon. This is cabin number 47. 047. 
247. Whoa, it sounds like we're about to take off in an airplane. Jeez. I think the, I think the wheel is up top there. Yeah, it sounds like we're about to have to take off. We are rocketing out of here. That's where the, you get the air out of there. Like no it. air conditioning in these things. We really kind of don't need it sometimes, especially during this time of year. It's nice. During the summer, it can get, get a little toasty. The spiel just said, hold on to our straw hats. We're about to enter the heart of the Caribbean. They pronounce it Caribbean, not Caribbean. Yeah, Caribbean. Tough to see because of the glare. But spaceship Earth's off over in the distance. Seems to be going very slowly around this turn. But the door has opened. We do not get off here at Riviera. We will be getting off at Epcot. Okay, there's something being said over the over the walkie-talkies for the, the speaker system. Oh, we're moving, slowly moving. Much faster than the bus transportation also. The bus is slow going. Sometimes the line gets so long, especially during these times where we can't fill the whole bus up. And, side note, you have your own gondola or chandala. On, you're, not, you're not sharing this with anyone. It's just your group is on here during these times, which is kind of nice too. How would you pronounce it? Uh, Epcot. Gondola or chandala? Uh, Caribbean. So when you go to Anakista in Gatlinburg, they call it a chandala. Uh, I would say gondola. Uh, I think gondola is my go-to. I would go with gondola. Gondolas of the Caribbean, the Caribbean. Caribbean yeah. They just stated this station is designed for turning only. Now we went by this earlier, but this is nighttime edition. Going around this, going to spin around the circle. Very well lit. Through here, kind of see a little bit of what's going on. It makes a 90 degree turn. Boy, it is tough to get to get this perspective without getting a reflection in there over and over and over. And then we're going to head dead on towards that's how we'll get a view of Ratatouille as well. A little staircase here in case you need to be evac -ed. Of course, you can be evac from here, no problem, but if you're, you know, another couple hundred yards that way, there is no evac. You just got to wait it out. Stuck at the turning station. You don't get off here. Well, unless it breaks down. Okay, we're moving now. We're moving, we're going forward. Out of the station. I like this. It's so smooth. Sometimes when it's windy, you gotta have your sea legs in here. I don't have any sea legs. It is definitely gonna be very difficult to see under the, the darkness over there. Oh, there's the neon. Ratatouille, right there. There it says Ratatouille. You can't see it though, but that's what it says. Thank you. All right, Look, going, pulling into Epcot. Coming in, oh, coming in hot. Oh, you scared me, you startled me. I said that really loud. A good way to travel. A very good way to travel indeed. I really do enjoy this transportation device in a lot of ways. I really do enjoy it. The Skyliner. Hope they put more around property because it's a good way to, it's a good way to travel. Going into the station. Up oh, there's an airplane going by. Check that out. I thought to the airplane up there too. Up oh, there was Scrooge McDuck going by. That was Scrooge McDuck. This is. Couldn't tell what that one was. Zootopia. That was Zootopia. And. This one is Mansion, Haunted Mansion, yes. The and Ghost, and that was Chippendale. All right, one more, one more, and that's it. Toy Story, and there's Toy Story again, double Toy Story. Toy Story just crossed the streams, and this is blank, and that's Beauty and the Beast, Mrs. Potts. And with that, start heading out. Glorious view here of Spaceship Earth. Yes. Seems like every time I try to do an outro, well not every time, I would say a percentage of the time, there's always a car horn. Oh, it just stopped. It just stopped. Was that My yours? My car! That's gonna do it for today. 
I must say, uh, the Skyliner always at night is a different experience than during the day. Now, I've done this before, maybe a year, year and a half ago, where I did the full Skyliner run. But I thought I would do it once again, just to see if there's been any changes, but I did not notice any based on the recent happenings. And very smooth. The only place I didn't go was to Pop Century and to that area. But, you know, did, did the Ep <laughs> went from Epcot over to Studios and stopped off at where the Caribbean Beach little station was this it knocked over they were cones a fun evening a fun evening with Splor and Ryan we did just a little Splorin as he would say hope he finds his car yeah, he was he ran off in a hurry the vlog is over <laughs>